Hello, good morning friends, Miss Heather here. Okay, let's get started with our good morning song. Good morning friends, good morning friends, good morning friends, I'm glad you're watching today. Okay, before we read the story I have picked, what comes next? That's right, our church words. Here at Unitarian Church, we are people of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Good job, you guys. Okay, I have a great story today called I Am Not a Dinosaur. And it's by Will Latch, illustrated by Johnny Lambert with a note from Dr. Mark A. Norrell. I am not a dinosaur. A long, long, long time ago, strange beasts roamed earth, both high and low. From huge to tiny, sky to shore, but each were not a dinosaur. My formal name is Smilodon. I pounce on beasts I prey upon, two sword-like teeth. Flash when I roar, but I am not a dinosaur. I am a saber-toothed cat. I have no teeth, just pointy jaws. Two fierce and bony living saws. I cut fish down right to the core. But I am not a dinosaur. I am Dunkleosteus. Those big, sharp teeth they have. A giant sail stands on my back to cool and scare and Maybe attack. I am scaly carnivore, but I am not a dinosaur. I am Dimetrodon. It almost looks similar to the dinosaur called Spinosaurus with its big spine looking back. But it's not a dinosaur. I look just like an elephant with fur and tusks so elegant. I went extinct in days of yore, but I am not a dinosaur. I am a woolly mammoth. Twice as long as a great white shark, I have seven inch teeth to hit my mark. I'm a very big fish at the old seashore, but I am not a dinosaur. I am a Charcharodon Megalodon. Look at that great white shark. These are the great whites, and this is the big megalodon. My hunger for vegetables has no bounds. I'm 10 feet long and a thousand pounds. The Americans are where I explore, but I am not a dinosaur. I am a gly, glypodont. It almost looks like a giant, maybe porcupine a little bit. It's got some spikes like a porcupine, but then almost like a big shell, like a turtle. That's one cool creature. On all four legs, I humbly crawl, but standing up, I'm 10 feet tall. 
I stretch to grab leaves like a good herbivore. But I am not a dinosaur. I am Lestodon. That looks like a 10 foot tall sloth almost. There's some similarities, isn't there? Folks thought I was gone for millions of years, but then in a fisherman's net, I appeared. I lived with the dinos and I hope to live more, but I am not a dinosaur. I am a Lantern America. One big fish. My wings are of skin stretched finger to calf. And my size, it can vary from wren to giraffe. High in the sky above T-Rex I soar. But I am not a dinosaur. I am a pitosaur. Pterosaur. I may look like a dino that lives in the sea, but that wouldn't be fair to my family tree. I swim with flippers. Oh yes, I've got four, but I am not a dinosaur. I am a pleosaur. And there's his four flippers that he swims with. His head, long neck. Caveman, they call me, but let's be specific. I take care of my family and my tools are terrific. I'm related to you, which you cannot ignore. But I am not a dinosaur. I am a Neanderthal. I'm famous, creatious, a museum rock star. With big teeth and muscles, I'll go very far. I'm sure that you've heard all about me before. Yes, I am a dinosaur. I am Tyrannosaurus Rex. So am I. I am a Triceratops. So am I. I'm a Stegosaurus. So am I. I'm a Velo... Velocoraptor. That one. So am I. Tweet. I am a parakeet. Birds are living dinosaurs. The end. Well, that was a fun, interesting book. We learned all about animals that may have lived before, during, dinosaur period, but they were not actually dinosaurs. Okay, so I have a very fun activity that you can do in the sun. All you need is a blank sheet of paper, something to write with. You can use, I have a pen. You can use pens, pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you have that your mom or dad wants you to use, and then find any type of object you would like, some shapes, balls, animals, any type of toy that you would like to use. So I just grabbed a horse, little tiny play horse, and what you do, and you can grab multiple shapes or animals or anything that you would like, any of your toys, take the piece of paper and your stuff outside, and mom or dad, you will set this up, Set up the toy so the sun is coming towards it and leaves a shadow along the paper. And then the children trace the shadow. And then you have these awesome pictures with these. You might have a little animal, but you see how much bigger the shadow is depending on how bright the sun is shining. All right, you guys. I can't wait to read another story to you next week. And I really hope to see you soon. Miss you all. Bye.